he's got paperwork. You know what this is, right? He's evicted. Can I try and talk to you once about a law that I want to inform you of? Okay. Okay. It's called a. It's called the um, disturbing private personal property. All right. It's section nine dash one point six. You can look it up in the HRS. It prohibits anyone from taking bulky items after it's been left by a homeowner on the sidewalk. Once a we didn't take it. Not accusing anyone, sir. I'm just informing everyone of the law. Okay. If someone discards their property, personal property, on the, the sidewalk to be picked up later on for bulky items, it's considered city and county property. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to touch it. Okay? okay. It'll be brought up in your folks' neighborhood board meeting the next time because I think there was a question about it. But I want to give you the heads up first as a courtesy. Okay. All right. Thank cool. you. What does that have to do with the non tag items, though? Okay, so I'm trying to walk around somewhat so I can get a little bit closer on some of this. But as we see, we have people that's inside filming that has nothing to do with anything. What's up, man? Me, man. Me in. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> Trying to get a closer view of what the hell they're trying to do here. Sir, if you're gonna cross this way, it's closed for construction. These non-tag items are now being uh, taken away. Okay, make sure, uh, make sure you get your tickets. So we can claim our shit. You guys really no. No. Okay. They're just illegally taking everything. It's cool. It's what they do. Yeah, oh yeah. You didn't see Carlisle drive by, did you? He was in an electric car. He came. Yeah. Carlisle did? Oh, wow. I go, I go, oh, thanks. Okay, so Mayor Carlisle drives by an electric car, and uh, during his election, he's trying to base his stuff off of uh, ceiling, and uh, give him the thumbs up. yeah, giving the thumbs up to uh, police violence and stealing. So, you gotta wonder about that, dude. Say what? We have evidence that the tents were not leaving the property. The tents. That's what I'm thinking. The tents are not leaving the property. Okay. I think you have to uh, prove that, but whatever. <laughs> it's kind of funny because two of those tents was just bought last yeah. night, but uh. That's all right, guys. We have the receipts to show that. So, you know that, Trish. We have the receipts on two of those tents that was bought just last night. So be careful. Thumb through your pictures. Make sure on this. Because they're breaking one of them down right now. Never tagged. Brand new as of yesterday. Yeah. So, 
Keep breaking the law, Trish. Be so good on that one. We got you on camera. You can make the turn just with the light. We don't know how to break down fence. Yeah, I mean. You seem to have a problem with learning how to break down <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Someone tried calling me in the middle of the Ustream, stream, oh, so we got a little bit of a jump there. But I saw this my orange one and your orange one. They took photos of it. Little. Still comes down to this is what I was trying to tell them. You heard me over and over again, but nobody wanted to listen. Should have been. Huh? Should have been. I was here. You we weren't here last night. But no, I was talking to him. And I was definitely here this morning saying something about it, but nobody wanted to, so. This was Damien's call. Yeah, you gotta. Never mind. People need to stop calling me. I'm doing a use stream. You all see this. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. This is the type of shit you do to people who can become disabled and end up on the street. You do to no fucking fault of your own. This is what you do to this shit. You just go in and rip this shit up, take fucking whatever you want. Rip it, fucking scrape it, throw it out. Fuck you, you're a worthless piece of shit. That's what it seems to me, man. That ain't no kind of fucking aloha. Well, that's fucked up. It's Tulsi's and Mary Carlisle's game here, so. Yeah, you know, Mary Carlisle drove by in an electric car, right? Right here? It goes like this. I go, Well, there's several reasons why this happened. I mean, it doesn't help with a certain somebody that keeps bragging about it. That's what gave them their proof. Several times, several reports, they keep bragging about it. They're not. Well, they are because what they're trying to say is they have proof that we're not removing these tents, even though two of them was bought last night. But you got to realize it's a store property thing, and if they have proof, that's why I kept trying to combat that, but somebody else kept not wanting to do that. They don't have proof. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They have to have 24 hour surveillance to show that these tents have been maintained on this premises. But we have a certain somebody that keeps them. It doesn't it. matter. But that's, that's what they're working on. Well, they've definitely taken a couple of tents that weren't cast. Oh, yeah. We've got like yeah. three or four new tents in the world. Yep. Not to mention all the positions in those tents. So. I mean, they were never tagged. Yeah. No. So this is Mayor Carlisle doing his work. Yeah. Oh, he hates our guy. <laughs> it's a good thing all of our other tents are off property. <laughs> 
You guys are really jacking up my Ustream connection here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that thing on airport No, because then I won't be able to transmit. Yeah, there's no way. I've tried. At least they have proof that we did remove them. <laughs> so uh, yeah, they think they're gonna evict us by removing all this, but uh, they already know we have a onslaught of resources for uh, this. So they're wasting their time, a lot of energy, blocking roads, a lot of money for the city to do nothing. It's uh, kind of funny. It's uh, more important to go after the tent than to fix the roads or deal with the crime or deal with safety on the streets. 
it's it's all about harming the houseless and us. And like they fully admitted, they've targeted us, and we have the, the most amount of raids than anywhere else on the island. They've been on 15 different raid uh, excursions, I guess you'd say, throughout the island. But here we've been raided 26 times out of what they say is 15. And uh, they openly admit that uh, we've been hit the most and hardest. So, you know, it's like any other city. But we'll still be here, and they know it. They know they can't get rid of us. They've been trying and trying. We're too dedicated. <laughs> So we'll get our stuff back in a few days after we start claiming it and the stuff will still be here. We'll uh, have our tents up today and uh, it's totally trash what they're uh, trying, attempting to do here. It doesn't, they know they're wasting their time. Hashtag Hawaii Vacation, if anybody's uh, watching this, they can uh, yeah. retweet this and uh, hashtag Hawaii Vacation with it as many times as you can. And uh, maybe uh, hashtag uh, Tulsi Gabbard, T U L S, or yeah, T U L S I Gabbard, G A B B A R D. Uh, make sure you hashtag both those things. So that way you can, uh... <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? So, once they, uh... Once you guys start retweeting that with that, that way the public can see what they're doing to the houses here. It'd be, uh, quite helpful. Hashtag Tulsi Gabbard. T-U-L-S-I G-A-B-B-A-R-D and hashtag Hawaii yeah, vacation. Yeah. Yeah. We'll sit out in front of your guys' place. It's cool. And the park next to you, you know, that's usable for us. Just so you know that. Yep. It's cool. We're not scared of you guys. I mean, just so you know. I know you don't like us, and I know you don't like us. But, you know, it's nothing personal. I mean, but you guys want to make it that way. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. They're gonna leave the one that's been tagged and take the two brand new ones. Or actually, no, three, right? Three brand new ones, right? That's sitting there. Okay, so yeah, we had the two blue and yellow ones, and then that greenish one. Yeah. That has brand new receipts. So, <laughs> it just broke the law again. So you know, once this is clear, uh, you guys can watch how uh, we're gonna call the police on the police. <laughs> Should we do that? Call the police on the police for theft? Yes. Should I ask Santos if we can do that? Well, you, I gotta use from going. Call 911. Call 911! What the hell, Oh my god. Well, they're blocking our single here, at least mine. I had to use my other internet for it. They totally locked up my single. My texts weren't even trying to work until I finally got this, and so now everything's working on, off of my internet instead of uh, through AT&T. Which is kind of upsetting that AT&T allows them to do such things, but whatever. I'm glad there's other respectable companies out there that don't allow that type of activity to happen to their customers. It's well worth the extra money that I spend. Hi, yes, I, I need officers down at Thomas Square. Um, apparently the officers here and uh, the DFM employees that are, are here um, are conspiring to steal items. We have, we have proof that the items are here.
Yeah, well, he's not doing his job. The police sent officers to arrest these men. Yes, the officers and DFM employees who are stealing right now. My name is Andrew Smith. No, I would send a whole crew of them because it's going to take like a paddy wagon to get rid of these criminals. <laughs> Alright, sir, actually. My name is Andrew Smith. So, yes, uh, please, please send sheriffs, the SWAT, and somebody down here because all these people need to be arrested right now. What do you mean? This is the city of Honolulu. Man, please don't patronize me. Please send officers now to arrest these men. But you're not listening to me. You're, 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 you're wasting time, and I need officers here right now to arrest these people. They are here right now stealing items. Please, send officers. Please. Well, I, I wouldn't send just one. I, I don't think... It, I, I think it's going to take more than one officer. Back up! Back up! Help! Uh, I'm being hey. repressed! Help! Uh, I'm being please. repressed! Uh, <laughs> wow. Did you Again, hashtag Tulsi Gabbard, T U L S I G A B B A R D, for Tulsi Gabbard, City Council of Honolulu. She's the one that created Bill 54 that is attacking the houseless. Make sure that's known. Hashtag Hawaii Vacation with this and show how Hawaii teach their, or treats their uh, houseless. And uh, the, res the aloha that's really here in uh, the city official's eye for their citizens. 37% of the people on this island is Hawaiian citizens that they do this to. They've committed uh, violence and theft over and over again. So uh, whatever anybody can do out there to get the word out that the city of Honolulu is nothing, or the officials of Honolulu is nothing but a, a bunch of repressors here that have no care for humanity is uh, stealing and beating on the houseless and uh, people using their First Amendment rights. I mean, as we know in the state constitution, it's uh, Hawaiian law that's here way before, you know, uh, America decided to jump on the island. Uh, it's part of our uh, state constitution, I guess you would say, it protects the right of people laying by the roadside. The uh, state and federal constitution protects and preserves the right for uh, our freedoms and uh, rights of possessions, rights, you know, for speech, free speech, and numerous other things. And here in Hawaii, we use each and every one of those laws to combat, beat, steal throw their ch children out of schools, steal their animals, destroy farmlands, and everything just to be the American repressor. For, for international corporations. For international corporations. It's, uh, it's a very sad sight. None of this has anything to do with anybody. Yeah, god dang. Yeah, sorry, I had yet another person try to call me. Sorry guys, I'm on a use stream. I can't uh, take any phone calls right now. But uh, as we know, Trish, she's the head of the housing department here. She's the one that facilitates the, the means for people to get off the street. And this is the way she does it. She's uh, been quoted in a newspaper saying that she helps people by putting them in crisis. So... I'm not sure what the city of Honolulu thinks about that, when the, the only means of being able to help people is by putting them in cr crisis. It sounds to me like uh, repression. It sounds to me like bullying. It sounds to me that they're uh, taking away people's livelihoods and harming them in a way that they can't survive in an effort to help them. And I, I don't understand that thought. If you guys would like to see where this article is, it's posted on my Facebook at revolution.com. That's facebook.com uh, forward slash revolution nova. 
So uh, go on there, and you can see where she uh, specifically uh, says that she helps people through crisis. <laughs> she commits crises for to help them. And that be Trish, the one that's over there, bent down on the chair over there. Um, she's wanting to set herself up for political office herself, but like I said, her only means to do that is telling the public honestly that she feels the only way she can help anybody is by putting them in crisis. So, serve Mayor Carlisle faithfully. As a yeah, and to serve God. Mayor Carlisle faithfully, along with you know other members of uh, DFM and people out here. This is, I mean, Trish and uh, Mayor, Carlisle. Mayor Carlisle, and uh, we have Wesley Chung, or the three biggest people that's in this operation that commits all this violence and theft against the houseless and uh, goes against their own state constitutions and federal constitutions to do this type of act. Nobody here will agree that these tents should be here, but it's the thought of how they're taking them away and what they're doing when they do this on, an, on a very large scale throughout the whole island. I mean, this, this could be your brother, this could be your sister, your parents, your grandparents, your neighbors, Hawaiians, they had the full right to be here. I mean, the biggest comment that we hear being yelled to us, some of the houseless community, is to go home. Like, they came from some other area and moved here to be houseless. When 37% of them is Hawaiian themselves. Did you get the suit over there? The what? The suit? No, I have not. No. There's no way for me to actually get to him. He was behind a tree. Where's he at? Thank you. I won't cross your line, man. <laughs> I won't cross your line. <laughs> We're not here to start trouble. <laughs> We're just trying to do what we need to do also. You know, we all have jobs here. Right. It's cool. you got an iPhone, can you get it? have a shot of this <laughs> Come on, bro. Really, you know I'm here for you, too. This is one of the good guys here. He, he's, he's been pretty uh, nice and uh, cooperative for everybody. He, he's trying. I'm sure you appreciate that this is not how you store people's stuff, right? <laughs> you don't have to comment. I just want you to think about it a little bit, you know? So again, hashtag Tulsi Gabbard, T-U-L-S-I-G-A-B-B-A-R-D. Do not pull a Tulsi. Gabbard, Gabbard, Gabbard. <laughs> limousine, Hash liberal, limousine liberal for Congress. <laughs> Taking a hashtag Hawaii vacation and let the public know how uh, the city of Honolulu, Mayor Carlisle, Trish, and uh, Leslie Chung uh, treat the houseless. Rhode Island is putting in a Bill of Rights for the Homeless and the Aloha State is stealing their homes. Yes. The, uh, how is the director of housing is stealing the homeless homes? Yeah. Well, Trish right there in the brown shirt, she's the one that publicly said that the way she feels she needs to help the houseless is by putting them in crisis. So violence and theft is her means to help people. I, how do you pronounce your last name, Trish? Morikawa. Morikawa, there you go. Trish Morikawa, look her up, city official for housing. She's uh, paid $80,000 a year to do this. Her I want her degree. Is, her boss is Keith Ishida. Keith Ishida is uh, her boss. And then also another name of interest is uh, Dr. Wesley Chun. Yep, oh, he's been mentioned several times. <laughs> Wesley Chung gets over $100,000 to be a city engineer. 
and uh, his job in, instead of entailing this roads and you know parkways and, and all the stuff that keeps our city nice and clean and operational it, his job is now to uh, well he's committed offenses of violence and uh, theft on several individuals of the house's community around two hundred thousand dollars spent on these raids in the past six months that's over a one year operating budget of sixty three million dollars so multiply that by two you're looking at about four hundred thousand dollars per year to uh, get rid of the homeless that's just one camp yeah yeah <laughs> get rid of the homeless off of the street so imagine if you took four hundred thousand dollars and bought them some land and uh, you know put them to work or did something uh, you know actually humane uh, with uh, the problem that they created actually um, but rather we're just gonna you know kind of sweep them under the rug and pretend they're not there because it's good for tourism well, that 400, that uh, 240,000 that they're talking about is only of 11 raids that they're letting out with the public. They're not counting the 20, the 27 freaking or 28 tagging raids and uh, 26 uh, actual raids that they've done here. They've openly admitted that they've hit our camp more. And out of the 15 excursions that they've taken across this island on raiding places, that they've been here 11 times. But that's only DFM. We also have the police actions that was taking place here. We also have park department raids. When you add everything up, we have 26 raids. So when they say 11 raids cost them 240,000, how much did 26 cost? Right. That's what we got to really look at. You know, as they lie to the public about what's going on here, and we have video documentation and proof of all the times they've been here, they want to keep combating, saying, "Oh no, 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 it's a two-part series raid." Yes, it is. That's why we have 27, 28 tagging raids and only 26 actual raids themselves and uh because some of them didn't deal with that park department doesn't deal with two-step raids the uh police actions do not deal with two-step raids those are all one step they just come and raid only dfm raids is at two steps and uh so 26 times of being here when they say 11 times cost them 240 how much did 26 raids cost and how much violence and theft have they committed on the citizens of this island? You notice they're stealing signs too. They're taking, uh, you know, signs of you know, for, uh, free expression, First Amendment, which is definitely violating First Amendment, uh, First Amendment and the Constitution. Yep. And also, uh, kind of by Malahoy, Malahoy. So what is it? Article. What? Well, it's actually in the preamble, and it's it's in uh, section seven and ten, and article. Uh, is it article seven? Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, but it, but it's it's there's several things in the state constitution that protects us. A law that has been in place way before the Americans ever decided to even show up on this island and do what they all did for atrocities. It's it, this is you know, and it's still there. It's a law that hasn't been changed, but they're clearly violating it. And uh, then we, you know, if you want to go to the extent of of recognizing the federal laws, uh, there's several laws even at. Uh, San Francisco District uh, 9, I believe it is, uh, took and said that this particular action that they are committing here in Honolulu is against the law. It is an action that they've taken away out of California and several other states in the area that deals with District 9, but Honolulu, they believe that they're above the law and they can do whatever they want. So while their own federal courts that uh, guides them, they go against. And that's courtesy of Tulsi Gabbard, Mayor Carlisle, and different members of uh, the system of like uh, Wesley Chun and uh, uh, Trish Markawa. So, you got to wonder what their objectives are. I mean, we all know about the APEC. We all know about uh, the corporate greed that goes on here because uh, that's why we've ruined our farmlands. That's why the houseless community is even on the street. I mean, there's several reasons of why uh, people are here on the street, and they're all pertain to the city officials. And nobody seems to care. So if you guys ever see Trish there trying to run for office, which she knows she's, uh, everybody knows that she's trying to set herself up, remember her words. She helps people by putting them in crisis. <laughs> Hide behind the tree, Trish. It's okay. Everybody saw you. <laughs> well,
Well, if we're lo- you know, actually, I think we could cross over there, can't we? Well, if we stand on the wall, right? There's nothing against being yeah, on the wall, right? Can I get on the wall? Huh? Just don't get hurt? Okay. Okay. Hey, you just said you can't stop us no, from climbing on it. Okay. I don't want to push, I don't want to start. Says who? According to what law? Oh, no, I'm listening to him. What, what statue? What's, what are those? 10-1.2. 10 10-1.2. 10 look it up. No, we'll look it up now. smartphone. It's cool. We'll look it up now. Actually, my phone's dead. Sorry, but I, I got you. What is it? 10 10-1.2. 10-1.2. Cannot climb on any wall, monuments, or fountains or anything. Okay. Thank you. Why don't we go back over here so you guys stop stretching this? I'm all right. I'm all right. Damaging. No, you're all right. But let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back over here. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back. What's up with that? Let's go. No. Let's go back. Let's go back. Keep on going. Okay. Well, your concern is about stretching it, so. If we stay in here, we're not Just stretching. Back over here so you guys don't get hurt. The reason why this is here is so we can't get hurt. There's nothing going on over here. There's nothing going on over here. Why are you guys over here? Yeah, but that's already done and okay, over with. Okay, let's go. No, we're I'm good. Let's go back over there. We're trying to get uh, some let's go back over there. with the press. We're trying to get some footage. You can get footage from that oh, side. Oh, can we? You can okay, go around from that side. Let's go back over there then. Just go back out. Just go back out where you came in. And then we'll go back around. Let's go. What do you think? Let's go. Well, I, I'm, yeah, I'm trying. I, All right. Oh, my. Okay, that was Chow, Officer Chow. He's definitely always had a problem with us. He chases us all around Waikiki and here, and he, he makes it his career to harass uh, uh, the occupiers. And uh, Sergeant Santos is the one that wasn't allowed to be here for a while because of his harassment and uh Injustices that he was committing on a regular basis. Maybe I should stick with this occupier here and make sure everything's going cool. He seems to be uh, still trying to deal with them. <laughs> Alright, I'm going around. Oh! Oh, but this is so bad! Wait a minute. It's so dangerous, right? It's so dangerous, right? Dangerous, huh? He's gonna make sure he oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all subjective, right? That's cool, chow. Fucker. Cool, man? Alright. I'm gonna run over to the other side. There's Trish and her gang. Oh my. How's South Occupy doing? Uh, apparently they take whatever they want on Mark 10, whatever, I don't know. I'm not worried about that. New 10? No way. Everything happens, happens. Congrats. You just repressed your neighbors. Thank your mother. That's cool. Yeah, good job, guys. Good job. Thank you for helping the houseless in crisis, because we heard what you said. 
You help the houseless by putting them in crisis. You're awesome, Trish. Houseless wasn't enough. We gotta be tenless. Really? Yeah. Well, she openly admits she wants to commit violence and steal from them, she, and she does. She says it because that's her way of being able to help. So that's what you guys are helping. Helping her means to hurt people. And she openly admits it. So good job. You're correct. 37% of the people that's Southless is Hawaiian. They have more rights than most anybody here. Laugh about it. Laugh about it. Let your friends and neighbors see it. Laugh about it. Wow, they're making jokes about it, people. Making jokes. Your friends and family will see this. Good job. Wow. Now that I have you mocking people, I'm filing complaint. What is your name, sir? Sir! Sir! Don't let me have you on film denying me access to your name. This is Officer Vincent? Is that your name, sir? Officer Vincent? Okay, thank you. Can I have your badge number? There will be a complaint for harassment and de demeanorizing people. You don't demeanor people, man. You're an officer. Good job for putting people in crisis, Trish. That's how you help people. We saw it. Good job. Good job. It's okay. You did a great job. You earned your $80,000. Oh, I can't believe how heartwarming it is for the city to put people in crisis. <laughs> How do I get the paperwork for this? Can I get the badge number? I take that? Huh? 0792. What is it? 0792, Officer Vincent. 0792, Officer Vincent. You can ask him to get him on the phone. That's the guy that said I'm a little baby. I get everything from my mother and my father. <laughs> You know this is worthless, right, Santos? We'll be here still, right? You know that. You can't make us leave. It's good. Have fun, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now we actually have a good case, and we have proof that our stuff was removed. Thank you. So that ends that question. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you for putting people in crisis. You're great people. Great people. I'd love to see your campaign there, Trish. I'd love to see how that's going to go for you with that statement. Realize, you fucked yourself up. <laughs> yeah, somewhere. Alright, guys. Well, no, I, I should wait until this is done. Huh? Oh, all over the signs and stuff. So, I need a ride to my store so I can put a pin out right now. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we're still here, guys. No worries. OHNL is still going. Now that we have proof that the stuff was removed, we won't be seeing that for a while again. So. <laughs> Pretty sure it's zero seven. Otherwise, you have me repeating it on film anyway. Because it was like, oh, uh, what? Is this the one tag always said? Yes, that's what they're trying to do. But really but it's not in that fashion. It's in that fashion because certain individuals wanted to keep bragging 
Never mind. I'm not even going to say it anymore on here. It, it's just, it is what it is. Jeez. See you tomorrow. Bye. Put it See on you your desktop. Hey, you take the day off. It was a hard day. Hey, we never got <laughs> what this is. Yeah, it's true. I don't have Good any point. paperwork yeah. for my personal property. I noticed you're taking my shit, though. <laughs> you wanna get a picture of that? <laughs> can I get up closer so you can get a nice view of it? Doesn't you have some kind of hazard warning for people? They're not behind you like that? <laughs> oh, my. Okay, so Sergeant Santos uses a flash during the daylight. <laughs> I don't know if it's a backlit issue or if it's just Bye. him not knowing how to use his camera, but whatever. <laughs> he missed the mascot. One tent survived, though, guys. Look it. Bo's tent is still here. <laughs> Our info booth and uh, the, the mascot for Occupy Honolulu tent is still here. <laughs> that poor little beagle, he doesn't know how good he has it. <laughs> All right, signing off, guys. Have a good one.